We now turn our attention to the summarize function once again, but this time we'll be looking at summaries of groups instead of just getting one summary value for the entire table. Okay, so let's take a look at this. Suppose we have a data set that looks something like this. In fact, you can replicate it. I'll give you this file emp.csv. You can read it. What this is just showing you, it's a made up data set. You've got names of people, the state in which they uh, live, the city in which they live, and their salary. Okay, so notice that you've got the state NJ. So there are many states NJ, Westfield, uh, Monroe, etc. Many rows for the state NJ. And within NJ, there are a couple of rows for each city. So for example, I've got NJ South Orange sitting here, and I've got NJ South Brunswick here, and another NJ South Orange here, etc. Right. So the reason I created this data set is that we might want to summarize the salary, for example, compute the average salary by state or compute the average salary by city, which is by city and state. Okay, so you might want to do these kinds of summaries. Now, first of all, if we just read the entire data set and simply said summarize emp comma mean salary. Okay, notice that I didn't choose to give a name to this column. That's fine too. If you don't give a name, then it'll simply choose this itself as the name. So when you look at this result, you'll see mean salary as the name of that column. That's fine. Okay, but often we would want to give a name to this. So if you did this, obviously what you're going to get is simply the overall mean, which happens to be $93,750. That's the mean of the whole thing. This is a whole table summary, just like we, we looked at in the previous lecture. Okay, so now we'll turn our attention to doing grouped summaries, right? So suppose I want to find the summary for states, right? So if we did that, then what I've done is I've colored the rows for the different states. And if you did a state-wise mean, then this is the summary you expect to get, right? So Kentucky, the average summary is 83,750. New Jersey, the average summary, average uh, salary is 96,429, etc. Okay. Of course, I have not shown you the 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 way in which you use the summarize function to get this, but this is what we are trying to do now. Okay. And you can do that just as easily as you did for the entire table. Okay. So you can use summarize to get that, the overall mean, or you can use summarize to get also mean by or just summaries by different columns or even combinations of columns. Okay. In order to do that, you have to use the group by function. Okay. So I take emp, which is nothing but our original data frame, emp, which is the whole table, and I group it first by state. Right. So I'm saying group by emp state. Okay. So group it by state and of course, the resultant grouped data frame, I'm putting it into a resultant table. I'm putting it into a variable called emp by state. Okay, so we have that. Of course, the result, this is emp itself. And when you did emp by state, visually think of it as if this is what happened. Okay, in reality, this is not how it's going to look as we will see shortly. But conceptually think that when you grouped it by state, think that conceptually all the rows for a particular state got pulled together, right? So the first four rows all belong to Kentucky. The remaining several rows, seven rows belong to New Jersey, etc., etc. Okay. I'm again emphasizing this is only conceptual. If you really looked at M by state, you will not see the data looking at in this, uh, lo looking like this. Instead, the data will look pretty much like this, but that table will actually have additional information. We'll come to all of that now. Okay. But conceptually, this is what is going on. Okay. So if I say this, that is emp by state is grouped by emp state, and I put the whole thing in parentheses so that not only will the uh, assignment happen, but it will also be displayed. Then what you see is this display. Once again, you don't, if you look at just the data, you don't really see any difference between what it was earlier and what it is now. The first row was Smith NJ earlier. The first row still is Smith NJ here. The second row was Hugh, uh, Hugh in Kentucky, Louisville. That's still the same. But what changed is subtle. And that's what you're going to see right here, right? It says groups. Now, when you display a normal table, 
you don't see this information about groups right here you're seeing that information about groups because this is the result of a group by operation okay and it's telling you that this data set is not just an ordinary table but it is grouped by state internally for its computation purposes you don't see the fact that it's grouped but it is actually grouped by state and it's also telling you that there are four distinct groups available which which is because there are four distinct states in the data New Jersey Kentucky New York and Pennsylvania those are the four states so it's telling you that there are four groups by state okay so that is the subtle difference between displaying a regular table and displaying a table that has been grouped okay so there is actually no actu reordering as I had pointed out but conceptually that's what has happened okay so now if we execute the code summarize m by state comma average salary equals mean of salary right so this time notice that we are applying the summarize function on emp by state okay we are using the summarize function on emp by state not just emp right and you can apply the summarize function well if you apply a summarize function on a grouped table then it will produce the summary for each group okay so m by state is grouped by state right that is what we saw in the previous slide if you look at the code m by state is grouped by state it has grouped m, m the m table by state okay so now if you take that kind of table which is grouped by something and compute something like this a summary function like mean of salary or maximum minimum etc etc so now what it will do is instead of doing this for just the entire table it's going to do it for each group and we already know there are four groups so it is going to produce one summary for each group okay so that is why you see four summaries now you see a summary for Kentucky New Jersey New York and Pennsylvania okay so that is how grouping works right you can see the parallel between this and ggplot right so in ggplot you produce a plot let's say you produce a scatter plot of the entire data you see one plot but if you go ahead and add one more thing that says facet right then you see one plot for every facet every uh, value of the variable by which you have done the faceting it's exactly like that here if you just generally say summarize on a table which is not grouped you're going to get one summary if it's grouped you're going to get one summary per group that is how these things work okay so notice again a slight difference before summarization m by state had four groups right it was grouped by state and there are four values of state but once you perform the summarization on that then the resultant table has no groups right because essentially the grouping has been unraveled right because earlier it was grouped by state but now every state has been reduced to one row and there are no more groupings left so that is why this table if you see the result it doesn't have any grouping information on it we'll look at this in greater detail as we proceed okay so overall mean is 93,750 and now you can also look at uh, summaries of individual cities earlier we saw the summaries for the states now we are looking at summaries for the individual cities so for South Orange New Jersey the average in this data set happens to be 100,000 and for New York NY the average also happens to be 100,000 of course this is just data that I have created obviously this is not likely to be true uh, just for illustration okay so the way in which we are going to do this is first I'm saying summarize by state city this is for uh, finding the average for city right so I'm saying group by emp state city right this time we are grouping by both state and city we can't just group by state because that will give us only the statewide averages you could group by city and you will get the citywide averages but the reason I'm grouping by state and city is it's quite possible that the same city name exists in multiple states you know for example there might be a Springfield Ohio and also a Springfield New Jersey so if I only group by city name then we'll get misleading data right because 
the data for Spring, Springfield, New Jersey and Springfield, Ohio would all get combined. You don't want that. right? So that is why I'm saying group by state city. And once you group it by state city, it's showing you that it now has, uh, the, it is grouped by state and city. That's what this is showing you. And it tells you that there are 10 unique combinations of state and city. That's what it's telling you, right? So remember, when you have a table that is grouped by something and you display that table, then it shows you the grouping information. Okay. Of course, we can go ahead and actually verify that there are 10 combinations of state and city. You know, just just to make sure what this 10 really is. If I did unique and then did emp dollar state, emp dollar city, and this is what you get. Okay. So you get all of by paste. What I'm really doing is just combining all of them together. So you see that these are the 10 different unique combinations in this data set. So this is the code we had already. By state city is grouped by emp state city. And then we do summarize by state city average salary is mean salary. Right? We are not summarizing the emp data frame. Instead, we are summarizing the grouped data frame by state city. Now we already know that there are 10 unique combinations of the states and cities, right? And therefore, for every such combination, you will get an average salary now, right? Remember, when you calculate a, a, a value on a grouped table, then you get the whatever value you're calculating, you get that for every group. So here we are calculating the mean of salary. And since my state city is a grouped table, you're going to get one such average for every state city combination okay so that's what you've got here right it's showing you uh, source is local data frame groups state right the, look at what has happened initially when you looked at the after grouping by it said the grouping is state and city okay so if you took that and did a summarization then you see that the resulting data set is now grouped only by state, right? Because state city, you've already grouped. There's only one row for every state city. So now it is the data frame, resulting data frame, the summarized data frame is still grouped by state. Okay, so one level of grouping has been unrolled when you did a summarization. This is This always happens. When you have a grouped table and you do one round of summarization, then one level of grouping is unrolled. So now this is only grouped by state. Okay, so now I take the by state uh, table, right? That is, I'm saying summarize by state city average salary is mean salary. So take that whole thing and assign it to a table, uh, to a variable called by state. Okay, so of course by state will actually look like this. Okay, here uh, we didn't assign the summarization to anything, but the result looked like this. So by state is actually going to look like this. It is grouped by state because we did one round of summarization on what was grouped by state and city. You get this. Okay, so now we can go ahead and summarize this by state and calculate the average salary and then you get the mean of the average salary. Okay, so you get this. And notice that in the result, there are no more, no more groups, right? Because there was one grouping by state. And when you did the summarization, that grouping has also got unrolled and you get this average. Okay. Of course, this average is incorrect. Okay. This average is incorrect because we took, remember, we calculated the average for each city. And then we are taking the average for, for sorry, initially we did the average for each city and then we are taking the average of each of those cities for the state now some cities have uh, you know more number of uh, uh, some states have more cities in this data set and so on so this average is actually not completely correct okay so that is why I am saying this is used only to illustrate grouping by two columns the result here is incorrect because the city level averages are based on different numbers of people Right. So, for example, for one city, you might have calculated the average based on one person. For another city, you might have calculated the average based on three people. Right. So now, each of these city averages is based on a different 
is calculated from different numbers of people but of course when you want to do the statewide averages you want to do the statewide averages based on the people in the city uh, in each of those states not just from the cities in those states right so this is incorrect uh, but I used it only to show you how the next level of thing is unfurled okay so this is what I'm showing you right that uh, Edison uh, this thing uh, this is based on two rows that is based on one row etc okay so for Edison New Jersey for example you've got uh, uh, the the average of 95,000 was based on two people who lived in Edison whereas for South Brunswick New Jersey that was based only on one person right so now if you want to calculate the average salary for NJ and you just averaged Edison South Brunswick Monroe etc that would be incorrect okay so now we see that in order to get the correct average for each city we need to compute a weighted average right so again we are doing this this time we are saying summarize by state city average uh, is mean salary okay and then I'm using count so I'm telling you uh, how many people are there in each of those state city averages right so here we are calculating the average for each city but the resultant table I'm also putting a count that is how many people that average is based on and then we are taking this by state right that is what this one is this is group by state and doing a weighted dot mean by average city salary count okay so each of the city averages we are weighting it by how many people it was based on so now we do a weighted mean and the result uh, will now be correct if you verify it you'll see that this result for state is the same as what we got initially for state okay so in grouping of course we always go from general to specific right so city is more specific state is more general so when you group it you say group by state and city when you do one level of summarization the city will go away it will still be grouped by state you do another level of summarization state will go away and there will not be any grouping okay or if you take this example of group by flights year month day right so uh, days make up months months make up years in this case cities make up states of course if you add one more level country that would be fine okay so grouping always has to go from general to specific this year is more general than month month is more general than day okay so think about that that's really important so here we're taking another example by day is grouped by flights year month day okay and then you print out by day obviously there are 365 days in the year and therefore there are 365 groups when you displayed this by day because it's grouped by all of those three so you see there are 365 groups okay so by day is that and then we can summarize and get the mean departure delay na dot rm equals true for every day okay so here you see that you've got of course for every day there are 365 groups and the, the grouping is based on year month and day and delay is the average delay that was calculated for each day okay so obviously there's going to be one row for <coughs> each day so this is 213 January 1 2013 January 2 2013 January 3 etc and so on for 365 days